Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, have you ever watched a horror movie and just yelled at them what to do? I know you've done it because I do it. I know you do it. Everyone does it. So, let's just, <clears throat> let's just get this done and over with. Okay. I'm fixing to tell you. 20. Hang on, my music being in there, yeah. Twenty ways to survive a horror movie. For you, those people who yell at the screen and know this is what we're all thinking. Don't have sex in horror movies. Seriously, abstinence is key. Have you ever noticed while they're in the middle of getting the grind on the killer person will just bust up in there and shanks the shit out of you? Okay. Rule number dose. Don't go out with people you just met that day. I don't care how good he says his weed is or how good his drugs are. He's cuckoo bananas and he wants your ass dead. Dead, 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 dead. And if you go with this motherfucker, you're gonna die. So if you have a death, wi death wish, your funeral will be that day. <clears throat> Don't go to a camp, especially where one where someone was murdered. Yeah, that's just common sense right there because you know the killer's probably still there. Maybe, just maybe. Um, rule number four find a good hiding place and stay your ass there the killer can't see you he can't hear you why would you move come on it's possibly the easiest rule to I don't know follow and ironically enough it's the easiest one to break and <clears throat> number five have you ever noticed how the people who are running from the guy are always wearing high heels or barefooted or just plain clumsy and will either falls down and dies or sprains their ankle rule number five wear sensible shoes like tennis shoes because you know you might be having to run through the woods or over some dirt or over some rocks you know if the town looks deserted it's probably because everyone's dead or either turned into a statue like made of wax house of wax you know what I'm talking about and don't go looking around for people. Don't be a hero is rule number seven. Unless your name is Harry motherfucking Potter. And it's not. So, you gonna die. Number eight. If you hear something creepy in the distance, like a dog's yelp cut off mid-bark, or someone screaming cut off mid-bark, don't investigate. The killer is there, there, and also your dog is dead. And that person is dead. Dead, 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 dead. Um, number nine. This is something you should do. Horror movie or not, always check your back seat before entering your vehicle. The last thing you need is to be killed while trying to merge onto the expressway because then you're going to be killing a bunch of other little people. Whew, y'all. Give me frustrated. Um, hang on. Um, my music is being there. <clears throat> hang on, I got an itch. Rule number ten: If your car breaks down in front of a creepy ass gas station, don't ask sketchy towny looking people to help. You know, the ones with the biffed up teeth and the lazy eye and one eye like, like this big and they're all looking. Mm -mm. Some part of your body will wind up in the back of that motherfucker's truck. 
the hills have eyes, maybe? Um, roll number 11. Don't go into the basement. They are creepy enough without having someone dead in them or dying in them or having hearing something scream from down there. <sighs> don't buy a house if you ask the real estate agent if the house is haunted and they don't answer your question or they just totally avoid it and then they tell you some or if they tell you some creepy ass story about the people who lived in there before do not move in number 13 turn off the television and run away if a girl crawls out it's obviously your wisest choice Number 14, if your wall's house bleeds, get the fuck out of there. Do not attend an exorcism. Just move your ass far away. Just go on, live across Canada. Go on, move to Canada. Go on, move to Russia. Just go. Wall should not be bleeding anyway. <clears throat> because if there's blood on your walls, <clears throat> Your walls are bleeding. Bleeding. They are not supposed to do that. Don't act like a detective, especially if you hear some crazy Japanese kid who meows like a cat will attack you in your closet. If you live, it's an awesome story, right? But if you die, you dead. So it's not going to be awesome. Have you ever noticed in horror movies, they'll be like, Hello, is anyone here? Just like the killers in the kitchen making a sandwich. Be like, hey, you want something? Come on now, common sense. Google the location you will be vacationing at. If more than five people come up missing in that area, you don't have to go there. Issue solved. Um, don't get drunk or come under the influence of any other mind-altering drug because if you're running away, it's kind of hard to be running away if your ground is doing this little number right here. And you're just going to trip and fall and you're going to get shanked. <clears throat> um... Rule, sorry. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Rule number eighteen: If you see someone in a mask, don't assume it's one of your friends playing a trick on you to scare you. It's the motherfucking killer. Uh, or also laughing while saying, "Tommy, is that you in the stupid mask?" Oh, I'm so scared. It's not conductive to your surviving. Killers are very sensitive about their disguises. I don't know, um, like, fuck like mine. Don't take a shower, only if it's past midnight at the campground and you or your sorority sisters are staying at a lot to lock the door. And if you hear creepy piano music. And last but not least, if you call. It's coming from inside the house. Get the fuck out because that means the killer is inside the house and your ass is going to be dead. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is 20 ways to survive a woman.